What's up? What What's going do? on? Chilling, man. Oh, we're going? If you want. Are I mean, we going? This can be sound Let's check. go, dude. Let's fucking roll. Let's ride. Dude, you are the fucking <sighs> man. You rode. How long did you... What? I how just, much time did you spend driving? I woke up in North Carolina this morning, bro. Did just you Just drove really? the whole way, got here, sat down, rip the cast. I was surprised. That's how we do it. That was a, that was a call. I was surprised. I was, when you called me today... You're like, I don't know. We'll see how we feel. I was like, oh, maybe he'll call me around four. I was like, there's no fucking way yeah, yeah, I want to yeah. do a podcast. I'm ready. The fact that you wanted to rip it, I was like, okay. Okay. I'm charged up, bro. I'm actually weirdly amped right I'm all right. I'm <laughs> really? Saying, we'll see. We'll see how I feel. I'm amped, bro. What are you amped about? I'm, dude, I'm on a... I've just been getting so much shit done. Nice. I bugged on productivity the last, like, two weeks. You should have seen yesterday. What'd you me. do? Uh, so, we got fucked. Me, O'Connor, and Beezer... We're down in North Carolina. You're not talking about productivity Doing right now? stand up. <laughs> we got fogged up Saturday night. So then yesterday on the drive back, we literally got out of Raleigh like one hour. And we were like, we can't. I, I was like, I can't do this. You can't guys, drive. You guys we parked the rolls. We just stopped the fucking car and just went, got a hotel. Were you in the rolls? No, we took O'Connor's. Oh, we took O'Connor's BMW <laughs> SUV that his aunt from Connecticut gave him. Stop. Yeah, his aunt. I was like, where'd you get this thing? He's like, my aunt gave it to me. He says aunt. He says aunt. That's hilarious. <laughs> that's that's a come up for the team, dude. Yeah. Big fucking BMW SUV. From the squad? From the rich aunt. That's that's what's up. From O'Contact's aunt. What year are you talking? Uh, she Probably like a 12, 13. That's what's up. That's swag. Yeah. That's a piece of junk to Connecticut elite. I mean, if you are if you live in Greenwich Village and you're from, you know, sure. O'Con- he, he's used to fucking yachts, <laughs> you know. Also, the music, the speakers are broken. So oh, so there's no music. We had there? a Bose, like Beats pill. Why doesn't he sit sp- on the dash? Why doesn't he spring and get the speakers fixed? I don't know. A contact's got a lot going on. True, dude. he's telling me he, he left died. a, he a donut can't. on his toilet for like or pizza yeah, yeah, crust yeah. on his toilet for six. He months. needs the he needs his aunt. He should call his aunt. Let me pimp his ride. You should. I'll take it to Pet Boys and pimp his ride. Pimp it out. That'd be awesome. It's a nice car. Um, it's a luxury, yeah. But yeah, we 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 couldn't. We drove like maybe an hour. Who was at the and wheel? Was, I was. And it was just you like, pushed bro. Rig, bro. Yeah, I was pushing the rig. How'd you feel in the big body fucking BMW? It was heavy. It was very. It was a heavy fucking car. Yeah. Yeah. But so, yeah, it was it was pretty sad. We you guys drove an hour and it said fuck. Drove it. an hour and we're like, we can't. There's no way I'm driving to Philly. Oh, so you guys were done Saturday? We were done. We, yeah, we didn't have a show yesterday. We just got a hotel. What'd you guys do in the hotel? Watch the Eagles game. Just we off, had a nice sleepover. Just nursed hangovers. Yes. Where'd you make it to? What city? Uh, it's called Roanoke Rapids in North Carolina. We didn't even leave <laughs> North Carolina, dude. And dude, uh, that's so <laughs> funny. We, we we went to Cracker Barrel as that's a family. We had a nice dinner at Cracker Barrel. I got some country fried steak. Come on now. That's a, you guys. So you guys beat a hangover. And then just we all went back to the room and farted for eight hours. Oh <laughs> dude, my the room God. fucking stunk, dude. <laughs> and then, and then we, so there was three of us. So we got twin beds and then put a cot in between the twin beds. And Peter slept in the middle. And he fucking snored all night. Like the hardest <laughs> snores possible. It was crazy. I had to put headphones in. I'm surprised they rented you guys a hotel room. They were they like, tried not to. It's the three of you guys? Yeah, they tried not to. What'd they say? And we had camera equipment. So they were like, what are you three? <laughs> what is going on? That little twink <laughs> is about to get leveled. We do look like a porn. Beezer, guys, Beezer looks like a porn director. Beezer, technically. A contact looks Beezer like a Beezer technically otter. is involved in the porn industry. True, he was. Uh but the the farts after the Cracker Barrel with the hangover, the farts oh. in there were crazy. Mm. I left. I, I actually went down to the lobby to get the boys some sweet treats because we were watching a awesome documentary on Netflix. What you guys watching on? Uh, we put it on. We put O'Connor's laptop on a chair and watched Netflix. God, the three damn. of us all just laying on our beds, dude. Oh, so my God. fucking funny. So Beezer was laying on a <laughs> Beezer was laying on a mattress, not the cot. He yeah. took the mattress off and just laid it in between the beds. And so I would just reach over the bed and like fuck with him and like tickle him and shit. He's like, stop, just cut it out. <laughs> but one time I scared him. He wasn't looking. He was like looking, you know, he's playing games on his cell phone. <laughs> I reached he's playing out. Candy Crush. And shit. I saw his belly sticking out. So I fucking grabbed his belly. He goes, oh, and he farted so fucking loud. I scared him. I fart out of him. Oh, so my God. It's really the highlight of the trip. 
Dude, Beezer get zero. Beezer be like, enough. It's yeah, so- yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, I just kept telling O'Connor that he can never accept responsibility. <laughs> like something would happen, he'd be like, this person's an idiot. I'd be like, dude, you are an idiot. You're the problem. <laughs> It's a fun trip. That sounds like fun. It's the mutual Man. decision of like it was a first person being like, "You want to stop driving?" I'm like, "Yeah, I, I could definitely." All three of us were like, "Let's." Well, the plan originally was to get to drive like two or three hours and then watch the Eagles game somewhere. Okay, like go stop at like a bar or something. But then it just became we could just get a hotel room and watch it. Perfect. Yeah. All of us. In complete agreement. It was a total, like, 100%. Not, no one disagrees. It's like, I have nothing to do today. Let's yeah. sleep. Let's sleep and relax. It was nice. Did you watch your birds? Watch the birds. Um, Big victory. Yeah, whatever. I mean, they're just playing. That's the first, you know. Yeah. My cousin, my cousin Frankie was, like, working at my house. He came to build, like, a little breakfast bench. So he gave you some quotes? Yeah, basically. Some birds quotes? Well, he was just kind of like, dude, they're battling for who loses first in the playoffs. He's like, who yeah. gives a fuck? Maybe so. I mean, I have faith in my birds. I'm diehard. I have hard. faith in my birds. I almost kicked them out and said, "Dude, I you don't, I don't want out. you to even finish this breakfast bench." The, that's the attitude uh, you're bringing towards my birds around here. Why would he say anything like that about the birds? Because he was working. His friends were giving him shit, like, "Oh, what are you working again? Like, you don't ever watch football." Blah, blah, blah. Which I was like, "Your friends are right." True. You fucking bitch. My friends made fun of me for not watching Notre Dame anymore. Really? Every time they have a night game, I have a show. My friend was like, you're not even a fucking fan. He was like spazzing on me because I was making fun of me. Oh, the pest. Oh, right, yeah. right, right. Who, someone was just telling me they pested someone real hard lately. Really? Someone was just telling me, like, yo, I listened to that cast and I pested someone pesting as hard as is, I could. Pesting. I, I pested O'Connor. <clears throat> uh, I pested O'Connor pretty good this whole trip and he didn't break once. Really? Normally he breaks and it's How's that the feel for funniest you? thing in the world. If you're pesting and you're not getting the reaction, that kind of uh, sucks. I, th- I, I eased up a little. I didn't pest as hard as usual because there were some rough hangovers. True. You know? That's the best. That's like that's like when you eat a certain food for like mosquitoes, dude. That's like the perfect <laughs> pest true, environment. True, true. Yeah, and I just, the, the I've pested him enough that he's spazzed a couple times. So you've gotten the goods. <laughs> I've, got, I've gotten him to freak. One what, time, what's it like? It, did I tell this? I don't think so. We were both in a hotel room. I mean, you did give him the nickname "the Turd" nationally, yeah, semi nationally. True. true. People <laughs> in North, yo, we were walking. Shout out to these two different dudes while we were walking from the hotel to the show. Fan, a fan walks by and just goes "Turd," <laughs> and then right when we were walking to the door, this guy goes turd (laughs) somehow they knew to like whisper it at us that's perfect dude yeah please do that if you see chris just whisper it don't even acknowledge him just go turd (laughs) it's so funny Uh, no this is a good story this is an ultimate ultimate pest yeah so me and him were on the road and we shared a room so we have two beds o'connor uses tinder from the hotel we're staying at trying to get pussy meets up with a group of girls we're, we both have – he's working. He's been working this whole time on this girl. Mm-hmm. And finally they, like, start to do stuff. And I was like, what's going on over there? <laughs> he fucking spazzed, dude. What do you he say? was like, you're a piece of shit, dude. Like, just lost his shit. Everybody – the girls, everybody was very upset at him. What? He was like, his whole family's like this. All they do is fucking – they don't know how to look. <laughs> it was crazy. It was what crazy. did the girl – did he go back to, like, he did not, rubbing his hard bone He did not someone? get anything. He, you, you he stopped. Blew it. You I stopped him from getting into, it. Yes, that's a pretty. That's a monumental pest, dude. It was ultimate pest, especially because when was I got this? a nut. <laughs> when was this? <laughs> uh, a while ago. Don't yeah, okay. no yeah, dates. Yeah, no yeah, dates. Yeah, Come yeah, on. Yeah, what yeah, are you yeah. doing? I here, thought bro? you were saying this is this weekend. I was like, we no, 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 no. This is over, way back when you guys over started. A year ago. Yeah, I hear when you guys started. Over a year ago. Ten years. By the way, I heard you. Um, but yeah, that's he normally spazzes. He didn't spaz once this trip. Dude, having him denounce your whole family, like having in, a sexually in screaming in front of these girls, a sexually frustrated Okani. Oh. <laughs> oh my god! And then, fuck it, he was like, "This is how his whole family is. They're all fucking assholes." And I was just like, "Whoa, dude!" <laughs> <laughs> all because I was like, "What's going on over there?" That's all. Hilarious. Yeah. And he just spazzed. Easy to play off. Yeah. It's also kind of erotic too to be like nothing. Get, yeah, exactly. Like, don't worry about going it. On over here. Yeah, or just let out a simple groan, just like. Ugh. <clears throat> <laughs> dude pushing Beezer's stomach scaring him and him farting was he was like oh perk amazing he carried me through the trip that'll definitely get you yeah. home you guys probably drove home on that yeah we laughed the whole way you guys probably right away got in the car like we got we did yes. it we're ready to roll the great weekend again most of the stories this weekend tend to be about farts or scaring 
Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of the entire weekend. It's funny. Uh, scaring at, each other. During Star Wars, I went up. I I went to take a piss, and while I, I was washing my hands, and I was walking past the urinals, and this dude, younger dude, mm-hmm. standing there, farted at the urinal, like right when I was behind him, loud enough that it, I I like jumped. Yeah, he and scared then, you. He scared me with the fart, and then when I you know came to my wits, I just started dying laughing. Oh fuck! And he didn't laugh. I just dude, I'm, I couldn't bizarre. believe it. That's, we that, talked about it last week about me and Bison laughing at a urinal fart after a movie. It happened to you. Then Whoa. at this movie, this guy farted. I got I jumped and then I started laughing and he was not happy. I couldn't and he was young. Dude, if I if I farted and a, in somebody a thing, behind me started laughing, I'd be so happy. I would melt, dude. I would yeah. be laughing so fucking hard. If someone turned around and was like, bah <laughs> I would be I would be like, We have to hang out, dude. Dude. Oh, I dumped out. <laughs> dumped out at a gas station today. And, dude, uh, what? I, I'm no, just road I, life, bro. Wrong. I was on the road exactly. for eight no, hours. I, that's a uh, dude. That's an in all. That's some fucking like, Waffle House kicking around in my gut. Brave dumps, dude. I you dump in places. I'm like literally afraid to take a dump. This in. was a rough one, especially it was a one. There was tons of traffic. Uh, <sighs> and cold there was, cement walls and shit. And it was a single bathroom at like a truck stop. Exactly. Yeah, I know. You're so when when I got in, there was no one in line. Of course. Took a dump. When I opened the door, O'Connor was at the front, but there was like three or four truck drivers behind him. <laughs> and, they, and O'Connor said they were furious the whole <laughs> the whole time I was in there shitting. They were like, <sighs> like <laughs> all of them had to piss. They were all like, <laughs> yeah, truck drivers have to shit and piss as bad as a human being can possibly have to shit and piss. Yeah, so I was in there just because no one O'Connor no didn't one, offer. No his... one tried to open the door. It was that's, locked. That's kind of polite. Yeah, but. That's how I would know someone was in line. O'Connor was your fucking was O'Connor said guard. he knew I was in there, so he didn't try to open the door. Of course. So I didn't think anyone was out there, and I was just... So you were taking your time. I was just checking my... Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Just checking Reddit. How long do you think you were dumping for? Uh, Ten? That's a long... That's it's a long gas station gas dump. Station yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. yeah, it was Usually long enough that there dumper. were... It was long enough that there were three or four dudes that were upset. I'm surprised O'Connor didn't let the truckers go in front of him. I would have been like, thank you for your service, guys. True. Like this nation would shut down without you guys in roughly three days. True. Oh, I was looking at uh, Reddit. I was looking at uh, the fighter and the kids Reddit. Dude, fucking hilarious. Tough stuff. But bro. while I was looking at it, <laughs> I, they had a post about us. For real? For shit. Yeah, dude. Shout out the homeless cats. And uh, yeah. hell yeah, dude. <laughs> they're fucking hilarious. It is very funny. The dynamic is like insane. Looking down through the comments, and one of them just said, "Hi, Shane." <laughs> I was just like, "Oh fuck, that's hilarious." It made me laugh. Being like, I know you're going to read He's this. He's going to read this, yeah. Fuck it was dude. really funny. That's actually hilarious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, that's what's up, dude. Yeah, dude. Hell yeah. That could be our fucking, that could be our fan base, dude. Let's poach him. You want to poach him? <laughs> I mean, I would, if, yeah, I, yeah. We Hell yeah. I mean, dude, that whole subreddit is dedicated to just hating on that podcast. Uh, and I know. I looked into it more. You think they're razzing him? There's definitely some real hate. Yeah. But there's also definitely like, this is funny. This Raz and the guy. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, I don't think it's necessarily all bitter true, hatred. True, true. Yeah, yeah. But it's pretty much dedicated towards <laughs> yeah, being like yeah, yeah. fucking. They don't post like funny clips. They post just like him <laughs> fucking up. I know. I know. <laughs> yeah. Which that's... is, that's what I was talking about last week. How it's funny now that there's that's a whole thing in and of itself. Like we're going to meet every day and just completely fucking try to tear this dude down. <laughs> and, you know, of course, to Raz and him. But yeah. it's still like, dude. I'm looking at that being like, I would like to think I'd be able to take that day in and day out, but I would bend to the mob. I'd be like, fucking, I'll, I'll do whatever you Stop making fun of me. Yes. St- I, I would bend to that 14, mob, 14,000 people. <laughs> there's four. If there was, they're, they're homeless cats, dude. It's an entire city dedicated. They're called homeless cats. I know. Cause, yeah, because they made fun of, yeah. I, and they're b b b beast dude. I, <laughs> I'm all in. <laughs> <laughs> I watched that whole incel documentary about fucking... Uh, the, oh, the guy that made that a documentary about yeah. So I know I know exactly shop. what's going on in that subreddit. So I watched that documentary and then I went to the subreddit. And I'm like, whoa, dude, there's like a whole space <laughs> where you can just act there's this a shit. Whole subculture of these people. You're just there's like a small fucking yeah. city worth fourteen thousand. Yeah, a small city's worth of people, like a rural towns worth of people, who are dedicated towards like watching your every move. And like, idiot, <laughs> like idiot, fucking pussy, moron, pussy, bitch. <laughs> But I'm yeah. tell- the, the sin they're punishing for him for is taking that like kind of elitist attitude towards his fan base. He was kind of like, yeah, "You guys are fucking losers. I'm fucking killing it." They're like, "Dude, we'll just we'll hive mind make fun of you." <laughs> it's like, dude, I would instantly cave. Yeah, I'm like, so I'll quit. You guys just fuck. I'm done. 
Yeah, that's I mean, tough. I would keep, I would keep ripping, but well, fuck, man. I've said it before, and I've, every comic has said it. It's like, nah, I, I try not to check, dude. I'm fucking. Dude, I read it all the time. Checking nonstop. I and it's funny because I'll hear other like New York comics that like Soder will be like, yeah, I, do, you gotta get off that shit. And then, and then the day <laughs> I'll notice it, like a day a negative comment comes out about him. Hold no. Oh, that's I'll so. Be like, you check every day. <laughs> like, I check Reddit. I don't check Reddit the same amount that I don't jerk off. I can maybe go three days and be like, yeah, I'm pretty much over oh, that. Dude. And then I'll get the urge. I'm like, well, I'll just see what's I going on. I caught a beat in the hotel room. That was so fucking funny. Uh, so, yeah, we were together Thursday, Friday, course, Saturday, yeah. Sunday. That's four days, no beats. Yeah, someone's beating. That's what's up. Yeah, sick. That's and, a uh, shout out. But, uh, <laughs> sick. <laughs> sick. Uh, <laughs> I you know and then when you're hung over you get you got to get a nut God, off God you got to jerk in you, dude. off So I was I had a hung over nut yesterday just lurking in my belly You have a headache? No. Okay. I wasn't that yeah I was very hung over. It wasn't really a headache as Good. much as just I get fucking wah wah like the thick fucking water brain. You get like the Jeff Bezos head in South Park. I just, just man, my like, face is is my face is already swollen but when I'm really hung over I, I look ridiculous. No, I, I look I pretty look, shitty. Right I look like I, yeah, <laughs> I look, I look like, like wanna, shit. When I'm hungover, I look like I want to fucking die. Yeah, but I had a I had a howler in me, just a nut. <laughs> Rattling Connor probably cage, had dude. a hard nut in him. Okani probably had a nut in there. I'm I'm sure he got some off. He'll he'll just he'll just get them off. But True. I went so th- to give you some context, and that's perfect. Beezer open to the show in Raleigh, and we were listening to the he was listening to the audio of it because mm-hmm. we recorded the sets and. His intro, he's like, "Hey everyone, how's that? <clears throat> how's everyone doing? It's good to be here in Raleigh. I don't. <clears throat> like he cleared his throat twice it's into a microphone. Hilarious, yeah, dude. That's the fact that you fucking let out a Beezer grunt when you can't. Beezer grunt when I nodded was hilarious. That's a mandate, dude. Yeah, that's a strict mandate. No, that was that's how hard. It, <clears throat> yeah. Do you ever <clears throat> do you ever fart when you come? Yes, <clears throat> that's pretty tight. Is, I'm I think that comes with age. Yeah. I never had that when I was younger, but now every once in a while I'll uh, have to fart when I come, <laughs> and it's so fucking funny, dude. dude. So I'll fall, sometimes I'll do it, and it, dude, how funny is that? It's the most unbelievable because you, you are, it is like an end of the. It's not like technically an end of the date fart, but it's like you're holding it in. I've I've done it a couple times. I farted while getting head one time. That was tough. No, yeah, kind of like they are not happy about that, dude. If I fucked, if a girl was like, "I'm coming," I'm, I'm, I'd be like, "Yeah, baby, get that out." I'd get into that. The fact that like I like you were so relaxed that you farted, I, I'd count. That's kind of like squirt territory. I've actually counted that. I've dated a, a quote unquote squirter, and she just farted the entire time. <laughs> I dated a squirter before. Is that we do? Yeah, when they fart and stuff. Who am I? Sex. Yeah, she would fart when I went down. Or... <laughs> Damn! So a girl was giving you a head, and you let out a boop. Like, no, they no, are light. Was, I was oh, no, crumbing. Was hard... I was crumbing, and it was like a machine gun, like <laughs> like a quick. <laughs> Like a, like a rapid burst. And it was like, Were oh. you screaming? Because I know you're well, audible. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, uh. Yeah, so I like, apologize while I'm coming. So you were making noise out of your mouth? You were coming and farting. All your orifices. All you That's were what I'm saying. excreting it. <laughs> I might have hit the seventh you're like dimension. like Dr. Manhattan. That's, se- <laughs> <laughs> That's seventh. That might have been when I became a sixth dimensional entity. True. When I farted while I came. Moan. Yeah, dude. Fart and come at the same time. I'm a moan fart come complex, dude. Wow. Damn. Real MFC here, dude. For sure, bro. <laughs> so you're saying Sodi's claims no Reddit? Well, it's it's almost it's, like it's no fact. Something that like yeah, and I'll, I'll I've claimed it too. We've all claimed it. We've been like, man, you gotta. I'm off. Yeah, I'm you off. Gotta it. Delete that. Like even when I was going through the whole SNL thing, which I did for like a week, delete everything. Sure. I would still you know occasionally go to the website on my phone, but I had the apps That's off. So funny. And uh, which that was a that was a tough one. That was. <laughs> You know, that was an easy one to stay away from. Oh, yeah. The Reddit was a refuge. True. Except for every once in a while, people would be like, he's a pussy for not fighting. It's like, dude. True. But the what most more do you want? For the most part, people were, I would say, during that, that was when that was when I was like, damn, these dudes fucking rule. It would be insane for me to be like, oh, fuck you, fuck this. It's like, you don't know everything that's going on. Yeah. I mean, Chill. it's also, yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. There was something, like I said, I, I, I do think without the risk of uh, being like, fuck it. There's something to be said about like... Some things you just let go of being like, all right, bro. Like, yeah. Like, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to get all elitist on you, but it's like, you like, what the fuck would you do? Yeah. You know, I don't really fuck with armchair quarterbacking. True. I do. But not when it's me that's the quarterback. 
<laughs> oh, exactly. When I I'm do, on the other I end of it, time. I'm like, why are you guys doing that? <laughs> yeah, I do it all the time. When people yeah. hit me with so I can if you sit and think, dude, someone attacked me on the fucking Patreon. What? Well, I just did like a, a psychology talk with one dude, and some dude was just like, what the fuck? Give me my five bucks back. And it's like, dude, take your five bucks. Oh, really? But in that moment, it, we're just I was like bullshitting with this dude. Yeah. Pretty tight, actually. Like, fuck! <laughs> I was making myself laugh thinking about uh, Santa's coal mine. What coal mine? Yeah, he gives out coal to everybody. True. You must have a, the, everybody always shows the toy shop elves. Must be a pretty rough other end of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was actually thinking the other day about like just a kid getting coal. Like there had to have been kids out there. My dad got like, coal. Just just one lump he of coal. He told me there was several years where he got just a lump of coal. Oh, dude. Young what's Phil, that what's tiny that, Phil. What's that do to a person? That just lets you know your parents are poor. True, but I mean like <laughs> yeah. what the fuck? If you're a poor parent, you can just be like, Listen, this is your fault. You're a piece of shit. Fuck. Santa doesn't like you. <laughs> <laughs> was he being bad? Yeah, Phil was a bad. He's a bad boy. And he got a lump of coal. He got a lump of coal, <laughs> dude. He did. Be... I'm certain he got a lump of coal one year. I mean, imagine how hard you believed in Santa when you were little, oh, and it comes like, out that man. He, he thinks I suck. <laughs> like Christmas excitement. Like I remember, like waking up Christmas Eve and being like, I like I couldn't even fucking sleep the oh, night before. So fucking finally fun, waking dude. up and Fuck. being like, yes, yes, and running downstairs. And seen a fucking lot. He must have fucking screamed. He must have fucking <laughs> no, cried. He couldn't scream, dude. You get your ass I mean, dude, something inside of him died. For I sure. I mean, the third lump of coal is I probably I mean, that's like- why you punch a dog in the head oh. when you're 50. <laughs> <laughs> that's where you punch Riggins on the top of his head. <laughs> I mean, dude, that's fucking horrible. Yeah. I'm surprised he hasn't like, vacuum sealed Riggins' head yet. <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah, God I mean- damn. Lump of coal for a kid is, de- but again, it was like the you know it was like the early sixties. <laughs> like, I mean, he was living on a creek in Central PA. Yeah, in the nineteen sixties. Like it's not like he was like. I mean, and I, they didn't have like lump support groups back then for no, kids. You just who got, got a lump of coal and you showed up to school and kids were like, "What'd you get?" And he's like, "Fucking coal." Fuck man. you, dude. Santa just told me to go fuck myself. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I had have been with all the religious stuff tied to that. That had have been pretty synonymous with like going to hell. Phil, my dad had a rough Santa Claus journey. <laughs> now that I think about it, because the other story that's like my favorite story, I think I've told it on here, was his dad died. My dad's dad died when he was young. Okay, and then that year for Christmas, his older brother, I think it was his old. No, his his older brother dressed up like Santa Claus mm-hmm. to like because Phil. And his younger brother and his sisters are young. Okay. And the brother's like seven or eight years older. So he was like going to surprise them and like pretend to be Santa Claus. You know, it was a rough time. What, do you do when the, what did he do when the real Santa Claus showed up? True. True. <laughs> Straight up Santa Fa. But he got drunk oh, and God. fell off the roof. Fuck. So all the little kids were like excited for Santa. And then Santa just was just drunk and fell and they're like oh my god Santa <laughs> it just came out with him and he was all shit faced and then a year later that Santa gave him a lump of coal yeah man so it must have been like what the fuck yeah, is man. going Santa's on Santa's a dickhead dude well apparently that uh I was that was also one of the lie I remember lying and saying I saw Santa what yeah 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 that's not a lie bro I remember you just believed no 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 I remember saying I saw his sled <laughs> to who to like my aunt who knew I was lying. How old were you? I was young, obviously, okay. but I was. I still even then knew she knew I was lying. Fuck. Just the, just the way her path of questions. Oh, that's fucked. Like up. she was just fucking with me. Like oh yeah, like shit like that. And I was like <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I remember her being like yeah. What the fuck is your problem? I like I vividly remember that lie. That's so oh. funny. And she was just like really now. Yeah. Did you I claim to hear I, bells? Dude, one time, I got a great Christmas story. Now we're in the holiday spirit. Hell yeah. The local news said there was too much fog, and you had to ring a bell so Santa could find your house. <laughs> it <laughs> fucked me up, dude. I was spazzing. Were you ringing a bell? I broke a bell. <laughs> Did you really? I broke the bell ringing it. <laughs> I was like, come on, come on, Santa. <laughs> yeah, man. He found your house? He found my house. Oh, Santa he was man. always good. He was good to me. Dude, I was like... Actually, he was okay. Fucking... What did he get you? I always got average. Yeah. 
And then my, you know, you'd see other kids with their fucking ball and shit. Crazy shit. I get nothing. I got a PlayStation 2 once. That's a, that's a like good. Like eighth grade. That's that was Santa, sick. That's Santa coming through. That was, and I, st- yeah, that was big for Santa. I, I, the best thing I ever got on Christmas was that remote, remote control car that could flip over and still drive. Fuck. Remember that thing? Yes. Dude, I got that one year and it was just like, fuck my, I was to the fucking Yo, mood. did you guys have to go to church after you opened gifts? Yeah, it fucking sucks. Whoa, suck, how dude. much does that suck? Fuck. You get all these sick toys and then you immediately have to go to church for an yeah, hour. Yeah, dude, it fuck. And then the parking lot's and packed. Just, like, just let me go home and play with this fucking uh, toy. We used to, sometimes we go to midnight mass. That was fucking dank. You get, well, we, that was That's when we exciting. got we got older. We go to midnight yeah, mass. Yeah, yeah. Come home. Everyone gets to trade one present. We do like a family Pollyanna. Yeah. Midnight mass. Come home around one o'clock. Eat some sweet treats. Some people drink a little coffee, and then it's like here's all the presents for the you know the, the siblings. Then you wake up and Santa comes. And Santa has come. That's it. It's the best. Watching a little kid who genuinely thinks Santa. Like, I'm gonna get to see. Still believes. I'm gonna get to see the kids enjoy it this year. Dude, it's the best. Uh, it's the fucking. I'm gonna cry. I think. Dude, I, I can't buy Hallmark cards anymore without crying. <laughs> Fuck, man. I'm excited. I'm fucking stoked. I got Christmas spirit Usually now. Christmas, I have a tradition where I get stoned and I drive around and look at all the Christmas. I go to like a nice neighborhood and look at all the Christmas lights. Oh, we do this thing in my neighborhood. Awesome. Uh, uh, luminaries, they call it. They just put bags of sand with a candle. That's on the tight. curbs, on all the curbs. That's fuck, that's sick. like lining the streets. It looks fucking. Nice. That's awesome. And then you can always see the Jew house. Doesn't have no. <laughs> I mean, they participate. Do they? They, they do. Everybody loves it. They don't. They they put the fucking. They still have candles. They enjoy. It. <laughs> see the Jew. House. <laughs> yeah, that's how you know. Oh, that's funny. But yeah, the Christmas spirit is. Do they? How many candles do they have outside their driveway? Seven. Eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I thought it was twelve. So I don't know. Fucking know. I don't know. Either. Probably, it's probably eight or something. I don't know. Yeah, the, more uh, than eight. The, is it? T- eight crazy nights. Wait. Twelve nights of Christmas. Okay, I'm, no. I'm sorry. I'm so Christian. I thought it was twelve. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm so Christian. I don't respect you. <laughs> no, I'm just saying I don't know them. Um. Yeah, dude. That was... Coming downstairs, man. Christmas Day. Get down early. You ever get down early before everyone? For sure, I did that. Yeah, a little sneaky move. Tear open a fucking corner. Peak. Oh, run back dude, up. Dude, that's <sighs> fucking. Like, I know what everyone has. Yes, that's pretty tight. Yeah, I'm still geeking out. What? So, what happens with Hanukkah? Do you? Is it just kind of like you get a gift every day for eight days, right? Yeah, and I think that they are. They've they've seen enough Christmas that they want a piece. Oh, and I think dude, they they Christmas four. out. I think that would, they that would piss out. me the fuck off. I think. I think Jews that are like a little older now really got fucked. For sure. They got like shitty Hanukkah. Do you how now many, the, the young Jews ahead. that are growing up now gotcha. or like our age or younger have, have they've they've got a very Americanized How many Hanukkah? How many young Jewish kids do you think have gotten stiffed on Christmas and resorted <laughs> unknowingly to a slur in the context of like calling their mom and dad a Jew? <laughs> you fucking Jew! I hate Christmas. I, hate <laughs> I wish we were fucking Jewish. You slap your Hanukkah, your yarmulke down and run up the steps. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Dude, that must be so hard oh, to watch everyone come just out with their new bikes and fucking toys and shit. You're just like, fuck! I hate being Jewish. <laughs> Don't worry, young Jew. Someday you'll own all of their bikes. <laughs> Someday all those dumb Christians you will own. Is that what City Bike's about? Did you ever see like the blue rental bike? <laughs> could be. That some, could be a Jew that got just stiffed just on just fucking scheme, Hanukkah. Just scheming, dude. For decades. Just like, I'm going to fucking own all the bikes. I'm going to start a bike empire. Yeah. Oh, that's so fucking funny. We got to look just, into the toy industry and see if any the Jays are behind it. The toy industry? I bet they are. You think the Jays invented Christmas? I think Christmas, the Jays bro? control the toy industry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, dude, let them. That Christmas joy is so... I'm still laughing about it. I mean, there has to be a conversation in Jewish households, Jewish households where they're like, what the fuck? This fucking sucks. Yeah. But in their defense, they do get several days before Christmas. You know what I mean? True. So there's a few days of like, check this out. Check this out. Coming into school with a new toy. I mean... Being like, damn, where are you getting that? Yeah, but it's what? what's going on with that? True, but then the payoff is everybody comes back from Christmas and it's like whoo, gear. I mean, the I gear am loaded. Yeah, and you come back and your gear's just right for. That's like, all I had every year. That's <laughs> all my Christmas clothes gear. was Christmas clothes. <laughs> 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 my mom dictated my clothing for years. Yeah, dude, I remember I caught a pair of bullheads one year, dude. 
wide, like Jinko leg length flare, dude, and just went into dress really? down day. I could had Jinko jeans. I had bull heads. What are they? So they were like they were of the wider leg variety, but not as wide as Jinkos. You had wide were, jeans. I dude, I was a skater, bro. Fuck. I was a skater, surfer, snowboarder from San Diego, bro. Of course, I fucking true. That's how you got surfers. I those Jinkos you were wearing. Bullheads, bro. The bullheads got in your. I got system. them from Pac Sun. They were khakis that had a white stripe, and they were so fucking wide, dude. They're almost as wide. My mom wouldn't let me let me get Jinkos because they were fifty bucks. Jinkos are wild. She was like, if you if you want, I'm not paying. I remember she I remember they had like the little cartoon character on the back pocket, dude. Anyone who had Jinkos at CN Skate Palace was a fucking man. Fuck. I just wanted to fucking. Thank listen. God I played sports then. I played sports a little bit. Skateboard. I played extreme sports, dude. Yeah. Fucking let me get up to the camera and stick my tongue out, dude. <laughs> dude, I fucking uh No, no showboating. I remember no I, showboating on my end, bro. Mom all showboat. I'm all hot dog. <laughs> I said hot dogging in school the other day, and someone was like, What the fuck's hot dogging? And I explained <laughs> hot it to dog? him. He started cracking up. He's like, That's the funniest fucking thing I've ever hey, heard. Hey, you're hot dogging. Like, you ever heard of hot dogging, bro? He's like, No, I have no idea what you're talking about. And I explained <laughs> it to him. He's like, That's fucking hilarious. Um Yeah, Chris, bullheads. Christmas is hot dogging. Hanukkah is just good. True. Run the football, hand the ball to the ref. Christmas is big time hot dog. Yeah, that's like being down by 10, still dancing after you get a sack. So, <laughs> I don't understand. What the fuck are you celebrating? I mean, come on. Yeah. I don't know if you guys know that when snow, when landscapers plow and shovel, they're fucked up. Yeah. I used to, When I was an eighth grader, they used to scoop me and my cousins up. And my, oh, I hated that, dude. I had to go fucking <clears throat> like shovel and salt a neighborhood once. Yeah, dude. Oh. Did they get you drunk? No. Dude, they were, not, there were people drinking, but I was just yeah, dude. They, this was back. This was after Spain. I came back. I was like, yeah, I, dude, that's I'm a, not a working man. That's a tough van. I am not a working man. I loved it, dude, because it was like they would wait. I like salting. Salting destroys your fucking gloves. I dude. like salting. Nah, give me the shove. I would take a shovel. We have a good team, dude. We put MGDs in the snow. We'd be smoking hash, getting fucked up. I would stay up all night, and then we would just mm. this dude would bring us back to his house. And he would get us pizza or whenever, like, we woke up, he would get us, like, whatever for food. And we would just, like, sleep in, like, our soggy little snow clothes. And then we'd have to go back out the next morning. I was like, dude, it felt like I was in the army. I'm like, this fucking rules. Yeah. Then I get an envelope of, like, 300 bucks and be like, oh. Yeah. And it's funny, too, because this guy was using us. And I mean, we were getting paid decently, but, like, dude, this guy was probably getting, so, I mean, looking back yeah, on it, to, I was probably getting, to, like, like, shovel and 14 salt bucks in the neighborhood. Especially when snow hits a certain part, like, at a certain height, it becomes, like, I think it's, like, emergency levels, and, dude, the money, you it, the cost to plow it is so fucking much. Yeah. And, dude, there's, like, these are, like, we're, like, 18, 19-year-old bulls, dude, just out there, just all night, yeah. just ripping, just stoked on $14 an hour. Fun times. The best. While it's snowing, that's nice. <laughs> oh, out there dude. drinking. I told you the one time when Ajax was the boss, right? No. I never told you about this? No. Dude, so we were like, you know, I hadn't shoveled. I was out of the shoveling game for a while. Every now and again. You may feel- remember Ajax from the Old Testament. Yeah. It's a guy who shot a goose. <laughs> the shot a goose with a bow and arrow. And strangled it. Threw a baseball bat in my head. <laughs> The uh, oh, yeah, you poured water on him. Yeah, he was he was going to a job interview. <laughs> Tell it again, dude. He Tell was, it again. This is for Old Testament. So dude. he was going to my cousin Ajax was going to a job interview at Wawa. <laughs> he, he fucking was wearing like his best tucked in Metallica t shirt, and he's all ready to go. We're like, Jax, come here. He's like, what? <laughs> he got a bucket of water and threw it on him. <laughs> Fuck. That's what he and threw. Then he went to the interview he, and drenched he, in a Metallica t-shirt. I think he might have changed his t- He might have oh. changed to like a fucking Megadeth, but he, he probably Huge. had an alternate. But he fucking picked up a metal bat and just wung it at us. Dude, I remember hitting the deck and this thing whizzed over us being like, Damn. reaction time. I was like, that's what's up. Um, <laughs> dude, but fucking... Uh, Ajax was leading the plow, dude. So that yeah, so then like so we used to like my brother, or, like I guess it'd be like my cousin in law, whatever. Like my cousin's husband, he was tapping us to like we were the soldiers that would come shovel. Then like I was out of the game for a while, and then uh, I did it a couple times for Philadelphia management. And then like Ajax secured the fucking bag, dude. He got the contract by this this guy's name, <laughs> the guy's name who was like a, like subbing out to Ajax was called like <laughs> I think like Van Helsing or something. Like, like a weird ass <laughs> yeah, last yeah, name. Yeah. And I'd be like, he'd be like, guys, Van Mr. Van Helsing said he would round us all up, and we would do we would do like a shopping center in like Falkroft. <laughs> it was like it, which is like in the outskirts of Ridley. 
and it was just this like dumb fucking shopping center and there was like one bar with saloon doors that like we would all just hide and like take dumps in <laughs> like, like, so we would everyone bullshit it no one did anything <laughs> and we were like everyone would hide <laughs> nobody did any work <laughs> oh that would have been so fun dude Ajax, hiding from him Ajax would come like what the hell are you guys doing come on he would like yell at us like oh you're sorry dude what the fuck you're such a fucking slave driver dude take it easy <laughs> like dude no one did anything <laughs> everyone bullshit did Ajax him. lose the Van Helsing <laughs> so, so we were sitting there and then uh, Bob started like there was another guy there and I think oh, the guy who was supposed to show up was like a big pill head and like his pop my one my one cousin was like kept fucking with Ajax and being like yo I'll take his money I'm gonna take his money anyway he's like I'm, he was saying something like making fun of the dude for being an oxy head and being like yo dude I sold that guy perks that's why he's not here like just like fucking with Ajax and he kept making fun of him he's like yo dude why isn't this guy showing up he's a fucking junkie like, and Jax ended up getting so fucking mad he was like Bob go home so he fired his brother wow fired Bob <laughs> fucking Bob I, th- I swear I've told this before no Bob drove home and then halfway he called Jax he was just making this up he was like Yo, Ajax, I fucking flipped over in a snowbank. <laughs> My car's flipped. I need help. <laughs> Ajax, like, pa- I remember what he told us, like, dude, watch this. Ajax pauses and goes, well, that's your situation. You got to deal with it. We got to shuffle. <laughs> dude, the Van Helsing contract is all. It was, it was like there will be it was blood. Line, dude. It was there will be blood, dude. <laughs> it was an ocean of oil under his feet. And Ajax is the only one who could get it. <laughs> Dude, we it show. is like there will be blood. You're like, is Bob okay? He's like, no, he is not. <laughs> Bob is deaf, dude. dude fucking, we, I've never phoned it in. So we would just walk around, just like go down. Like we would like you know be at the shopping center. And then I would like like I'll do the back steps, and I would just like lean on the shovel and just sit there and bullshit. <laughs> He'd come around like. What are we doing? Come on, we got Van Helsing's like this. Meanwhile, <laughs> this like Doctor Claw figure and like Jacks. Where are we at on the fucking on the bootlegger situation? Or, like the bar, or whatever it's called, dude. Oh. Fucking Christ, that was so funny. It was like two days straight of fucking Ajax just slave driving us, dude. <laughs> no one doing anything. No one doing shit. And there was like a couple random like like other dudes like pill heads working there, dude. It was just so funny, man. It was so much. It was like me and all my brothers and cousins in a shopping center with shovels, just fucking laughing. The whole oh. And Ajax would come scoop us up in Van Helsing's van. <laughs> 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 that was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking funny, dude. dude. Scooping up dudes in a van to work is fucking hilarious, dude. It was so fucking scooping funny. up dudes. Oh my god, getting the van full of dudes and rolling is so fun. <laughs> we got a mission. <laughs> it's just snow outside of a bar. Well, there's some like business tycoon who's like, yes, I control these contracts. Like, I need you to secure the forces. There's just a bunch <laughs> yeah. of guys who are like kind of stoned. It's like, all right, whatever. <laughs> Nothing gets done. You're like, fuck. What's my business is failing. <laughs> Some dude's just fucking uh, big dick in the whole operation. Be like, yeah, I got my best guys on it. Oh man! Oh my god, that was the funnest fucking thing. Yeah, throwing was, throwing snowballs at cars. That's a fun. It's a fun dude, snow operation. We used to build a snowman in the middle of the street. <laughs> cars would stop. We have a snowman with a big dick on it. The cars would stop, and then you just pop out of the woods and be like, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> I remember oh, an oil fuck. truck just fucking ran the snowman over, and we were like, what? <laughs> it was fucking awesome. Fuck, that would have been... The snowballs of Cars is... Snowballs of Cars is the best. Oh, yeah. Just you ever, the release, because ever... it's at night, so you throw it, you can't see it, you just hear a thud, and it's like, fuck. Oh, run. run. We used to do daylight. We used to have like, these tree covers, and you sit there, and it's like, boom, and just run into the woods. Do you ever catch... Do you ever be on the other end of that? No. Dude, I was on the other end of that. Yes, we've talked about. This. We talked about this. Yes, my old coworker, this is an Old Testament. Though. My old coworker got out of the truck and beat the fuck out of a kid. And I just sat there and was like, "Whoa, this is fucked." How he kind of like he like didn't like beat his. Ass. The kid was old enough. He was like fifteen or so. My coworker got out, old chased him catch down, a, catch a whoop. It wasn't even like a, it was like a slight whooping, but like a heavy whitewash, where he dug his face in the snow hard, <laughs> mm. and the kid started crying. Mm. And then he's like, "Get the fuck out of here! Don't throw fuck." It's like someone had cracked his windshield before. Yeah, it's old. This is yes. No, we've had the exact because <clears throat> now. Then I told we had a snowball fight in our backyard. These little kids were building a fort, and then me and my friends ran out and fucked their fort up That's while awesome. they're in it. But it, it was just a fun snowball fight. And then I just winged one, and it hit this little kid. <sighs> but I remember he was wearing glasses, and oh. the way it stuck was in the gla- like. The glasses, some of the glasses stayed on, and the snowball just popped him in the eye. He gave him like a pirate patch. Gave him full pirate patch, <laughs> oh. and he cried, and that ended it. 
Yeah. And he went out, and then I had to go apologize. That sucks. Yeah, they called my parents. Yeah, having to apologize to kids Having sucks. to go back and apologize to like a five-year-old. Your dad make you do that? Yeah. Yeah. No, my mom. Oh, okay. Phil would have. My dad was a big, forcing me to apologize. Mm. Like driving me to kids' houses. Drive, yeah, I did drive to a kid's <clears> house <throat> after I punched him at the bus stop. Did you? Did you have to read a letter or just apologize? No, I just did apologize. Shake hands. Couldn't believe it. That Couldn't believe it. sucks, dude. Yeah. How was the conversation on the way over there with Big Phil? Uh, I was with my mom. Your mom made you do that? Yeah. <clears throat> what was Big Phil's, Phil's never, thoughts? Phil's thoughts on me getting in fights was, did you win? Yeah. And that was it. That's what's up. 